When Jeff came out to, with his team to install the robots, I don't even know if it was more than a shift to get it up and running from when they delivered it. It was a, a very, very easy process, smooth. I couldn't imagine it going any better. Our single serve cup coffee cup lines, each packaging machine will dispense coffee through a counter system that's then put into the box. The robot system we have for that will grab the boxes, push them out through the cage where they're taped, and then the Robotique system will pick the box up and put it onto the pallet for us, and it's a pretty straightforward setup. Before the robots came, I, I didn't have any robotics experience at all. Early on, I was told that I was going to be the lead man to learn the robots and the palletizing. I was a little bit nervous, but after I was showed the system and took over, I was pretty relieved. The way we have our factory set up, we need a robot to move a box maybe every 25 seconds. So a cobot seemed like the natural choice. It can handle the production speeds that we have with not a single issue. When a new product comes in, we're able to take a, a basically an existing program in that's already installed from DesignHawk and we're able to modify it into what we need. Uh, it's a very simple process. If I want to change the size of the box or how many boxes go on a pallet or the direction of the box, I can do that no problem. The Robotique palletizer had a really nice simulation environment, like a software for it. So we could set up the box sizes, the pallet dimensions, and it would give us a really accurate cycle time. And that's always one of the difficult parts of our job is determining exactly what the final system will run. Um, so it's a huge benefit to knowing that we're going to meet the cycle time we need. It made it a really obvious choice. We recommended the Robotique palletizer due to the ease of deployment. It's been great with our customers. They've been able to drop off a palletizing system on Monday, and by Friday our customers are up and running. After we deploy an application, uh, we spend time with, uh, like in this case, Snapco, to really show them the ins and outs of the system. It's really our goal that after we install the system that the uh, manufacturer knows enough about it that they can maintain it. It's nice that with the Universal Robot we don't need a PLC because it's less to diagnose, it's less to program, it's less that we have to teach Snapco, and then ultimately it's just less uh, things that can go wrong.